Back to Perth 2011 and the first day of the women's fleet racing in two separate groups, Golden and Silver. The top 34 windsurfers made it to the Golden Group, which is great news for the 19 countries represented. All of these countries have secured a ticket for London 2012. Nevertheless, there is still a lot of competition for the world titles and the medals. The weather today had its ups and downs, starting strong, dropping, and then regaining some strength at 15 knots. Let's have a look at the first race of the Golden Group. The difficulty today was double with all the top girls racing in the same fleet. This meant that they had to face each other in every race, in every mark, throughout the day. Crowded starts and crowded roundings was a given, even at the top. Marina Alibo did an excellent job keeping her competitors in check and in her safe region. She managed to finish second after Klopatska, who went on to win the next race as well. Among the competitors Alibo was controlling were Perrin and Richard from France and Konstantinova from Bulgaria. Irina Konstantinova is married to another top windsurfer, Julien Bonton. Bonton will most probably qualify in a few days when the men start racing. This will make London 2012 a family affair for the couple once more since they both qualified for 2004 and 2008 Olympics in the past. Blanca Manchon and another top sailor from Spain had a good first race as well, but once again was no match for Alibo, who finished the day off with another first place. The rest of the races saw a good performance from Corsets with races in the top three and below average results for Ling Li from China and Bryony Shaw from the UK. The heat is building up in the Silver Fleet as well. Only one country will qualify from this fleet and the top three countries are very close. Their top three athletes are Scarla II from Greece, Dieter from Hungary, and Goose from the Netherlands. The conditions closer to the shore required strong pumping almost throughout the entire race from the windsurfers, who had yet another crowded start. After an average start, Scarla II from Greece could not keep up with Dieter and Gauss and finished 16th in the first race, which put her out of the qualification. Both the Hungarian and the Dutch windsurfers finished in the top 10 and increased their lead. Apart from the windsurfers going for London 2012, the silver group includes many Olympic hopefuls like Agnieszka Bilska, who won the silver medal in the latest Youth European Championship. <music> Natalia Kozinska from New Zealand won first place in the first race and solidified her second position in the silver group. Scarla II from Greece had a strong comeback in the next two races. She won both of them, left the Hungarian and the Dutch behind, and is now third overall in the silver group. Which will be the last country to qualify for London 2012? There are still two more races to go in the silver group and things can definitely change. Let's see what some of the top windsurfers had to say about their day. I'm very happy for today. First race was uh, in a really light condition. It was like a four knots, but I finished first. I pumping hard and I've been the most fast girl. Second race, planning condition. I finished first again. And third race, a little bad luck, you know, I finished sixth, but overall I'm very happy from today. I will be after eight race, like in fourth position, good for attack. Two, two race more and medal race. Today with a light wind that uh, dropped a little bit more, so it was really light. A lot of pumping is really hard. Uh, I finished nine and uh, I'm happy about this result because most of the time I'm doing uh, not so good in the light wind. We go to the second race and uh, I just fight uh, with Zoha all the race about the first one, first one. It was super cool because Zoha is a really good uh, sailor. Uh, 
and the third one I start really hard and uh, I finish in the end three after a uh, hard uh, fight with uh, Charlie the front, the French girl and uh, Marina Alabao the Spanish. Fine, I had a good day so I am happy because I had uh, progress in a uh, strong win and uh, I did uh, second at the last race in the fight uh, with Marina and early so I am very happy of that and at the second uh, when it was planning I finished uh, four but with the uh, seaweed it was very difficult but it's a nice race because I was uh, with the best uh, in the strong win so I am very happy of that. The results of the day put Corsets ahead of the competition while Shaw is losing the medal game for just two points from Kopetska. There's still a lot of game ahead for the Golden Group with three more races to go, including the medal race with double points. Stay tuned for the finale of the women's racing and the start of the men's qualification races.